Module 7. How do readers understand texts? Reading activates the same brain regions activated during speech comprehension, and within half a second from the time we identify a word, our mind searches for its meaning. Each word is understood as it comes, but to make sense of a message, units of meaning must be retained into working memory. In milliseconds, we make a mental picture of the events, a timeline, sequence, location, mood, colors. We draw inferences and respond accordingly. This module discusses the issues of reading comprehension. After completing this module, you will be able to identify the variables that matter the most for comprehension and offer solutions to improve comprehension in low-income classrooms. To comprehend as we read, we must first lift the print off the page and then go through the various steps needed to make sense of the text. The simple view of reading model holds that comprehension is the product or sum of a reader's word decoding and listening comprehension skills. Thus, decoding and comprehension are core competencies that determine comprehension. Fast and accurate reading, along with good language knowledge, lead to good comprehension. First and foremost, comprehension is literal. It involves the straightforward meaning of the text, such as facts, vocabulary, dates, times, and locations. Literal comprehension is innate for those who know a language and does not normally have to be taught. In high-income countries, literal comprehension is considered insufficient. Students are asked to draw inferences and make predictions from a text. So, when we hear that students must learn comprehension, it means learning to reason with the text, reorganizing sequences, making inferences, predicting what will happen next. To understand unit meanings, we must hold sufficient amounts of text in working memory. Messages with clauses of timelines, contrasts, relations, must be reordered and kept in working memory. Complex sentences may use various connector words. As, as if, before, after, because, though, even though, while, when, whenever, if, during, as soon as, as long as, since, until, unless, where, and wherever. See examples in the slide. The relationship between reading speed and comprehension has been reported in various assessments of early reading skills. To reach 80% or 100% correctness in comprehension questions, students must read around 50 to 60 words per minute. The graph illustrates words read correctly per minute in connected text in relation to comprehension scores for the various local languages in Ethiopia. Working memory has serial position effects. In lower speeds, a message may hardly fit into working memory. Then readers may remember the beginning and the end of a message, but not the middle. Now listen to a seventh grader from Malawi. How much does he recall from the text he read? I was very unfortunate. My father died when I was only six years old. He used to go and work in the, in the gold mines in South Africa. And one, one day, soon after our lunch, someone brought a letter. When my mother read this letter, she started crying. At the first, at the first I did not know what was wrong. 
Later, I learned that my father had died in a car accident. I see. What did you What did you read now? What was this paragraph about? It was explain? about my early days. It, it It was concerning accidents. It was accidents. Yeah. Oh, okay. Readathons and reading campaigns often show sustained gains in fluency and comprehension over short periods of time. One such case involves six schools in Peru, the Escuelas Solaris. For example, peer tutoring of second graders over four months in the six Peruvian schools showed significant improvements in fluency and comprehension. Bahasa, Indonesia, has simple spelling rules, and many Indonesian schools use class time well. Now listen to this rural second grader read. Second grader. In rural Niger, children only study in French. Instructional time use is uncertain. Listen to the best sixth grader graduating in three weeks. How well do you think this child understands the text? Consider the concepts of speed and prosody as well as expressive reading. If students go to school without textbooks, they have few opportunities to increase their reading speed and vocabulary. Listen to this sixth grade student from the Gambia. When they are, they are sitting in the classroom, Mr. Sar, Mr. Sar, Mr. Sar, Mr. Sar, they are teacher. When walk, walk into the class, mm -hmm. into the room, all the people stood, stood, stood up. up. Good morning, great six. Say, Mr. Yes. Chan, Mr. Sar, good morning. Say, reply, he reply to class. class. Even in secondary school, the poorer ones may remain at slow reading speeds. Listen to this 10th grade student from Mozambique. Students who have studied without textbooks do not increase reading speed as expected. Even in secondary school, they may read haltingly. In English, French, Chinese, or unvoweled Arabic, students must rely on vocabulary to predict the meaning of words they cannot spell out. English difficulties have also led to an emphasis on teaching inferences. However, research has shown that speed is needed instead. In one study, struggling English readers who practiced recognition to the point of automaticity answered more comprehension questions than students who were merely instructed on word meanings. Sometimes educators report that students read fluently but do not understand well. There are several explanations. 
Can students read fluently, but not understand what they read? This can certainly be the case when they do not know the language well. They may also know dialects that differ in significant aspects. Some students may have limited attention span, shorter working memory than average, or intellectual difficulties. In high-income countries, they are only 3 to 10 percent. In low-income countries, they could be more. Reports of students reading without comprehension may be due to questions, which demand inferences or background knowledge. They may also result from overestimating reading speed. Early grade test questions should demand literal comprehension. More sophisticated reading requires inferences from text. Students will learn more if they identify their purpose for reading, preview text, activate relevant background knowledge, make predictions before and during reading. They may also write what they read. Teachers should ask questions to help students clarify, summarize, or predict. However, poorly educated teachers may not be well prepared for such tasks and may be unable to generate appropriate questions. Specific training and supervision are often required. When do students read comfortably enough to learn information from texts? In consistently spelled languages that students know well, the transition may take place in the first year of school. More complex orthographies, or when vocabulary is limited, require more time. For example, in English, transition should take place by the end of grade 3. In grade 4, the language becomes complex and demands efficient processing. Sometimes, low-income students learning in English, French, Portuguese, or Arabic cannot easily start reading to learn until grade 6. The fluency comprehension relationship creates a dilemma. Speed initially matters more than comprehension. Should children spend time listening to stories and making predictions, or should they spend the time practicing for fluency? When instructional time and opportunities to learn are limited, speed seems to take precedence over comprehension. Overall reading comprehension depends on speed, working memory capacity, vocabulary depth, syntactical awareness, and also on prior knowledge about the situations described in the text.